when we I come to the jump in. And uh, anytime if I see anybody there, you just won't be there. I'll try to do something to say thank you. Well, I think we should not only go to Mr. and Mrs. Morris's home like we did before, but we should go to whatever site. Vanessa, is this besides home map, is it at Wells Fargo? Too? Barclay. Barclay. Yeah, the brick. That's what makes it so egregious. Mm. Right. Yeah. Okay. I, I was just going to tell you how, how serious this problem is. And Jerry will remember this. Some people may call it a premonition. I tell them, say, it's God talking to me. We had a default against home back. They called the motion to set aside the default. I told Jerry, I said, watch this, they have so much money because Barclays is the big banking center in Britain. Mm -hmm. the two days before the hearing, I said, let me just print this out again. The State of Michigan Corporation statement that said Home Act was the current servicer of the law. Barclays got involved. The whole state website was changed in 24 hours. They did the point. They, 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 in 24 hours, and the default was set aside. So we're dealing with the big banking centers. We're dealing with people with big money. That's why we need big people. Because when you have people that have that much money, it's, they don't care about no one or two people. They don't care even about a lot of money because they have so much. What does matter is when you get enough people that's going to potentially hurt them in the future where they can't do any business here. And that's what we've got to do. Well, can I just finish? I, I think that we should have a demonstration, you know, a very strong demonstration outside the Morris's home, and, is, and we should couple that with, with a campaign uh, here on a local level and to the contacts we met during the U.S. Social Forum and around the country to call or, or send uh, whatever it is, we'll find out the information on this Barclays, whether it's in, uh, you know, something in the United States or even if it's directed to Great Britain. We'll find a phone number or a way to contact these people and put the pressure on them like we did, um, you know, when um, Ruby Curl Pinkins was facing foreclosure by uh, uh, Countrywide and we put a campaign on them. Um, other people, we've done these campaigns with, with, right, right, uh, with emails and phone calls, and they don't know what's happening. It scares these bankers to know that they're getting, you know, called out on it because everybody knows how much the bank is getting bailed out. They're still getting bailed out to this very day, yeah. and what they don't want is negative publicity and attention uh, going on. Now, it's an outrageous situation. Mr. Morris, like he said, he, he won his case at various points. They, they don't, they want him out of that home no matter what. This That's is right. his That's lifetime right. home. He's a senior in his 80s, for God's sake. And there is no listening to reason with this bank, you know, or with any of these banks. And like Vanessa said, it's not just Mr. Morris. It's everybody else that's facing that same situation or that comes Hello? after him. So I think we need to set a demonstration. Oh, we need sure. to get that contact yeah, information. We now. need to send blasts out to everybody we can think of and I save see. this home. I have some of that, Chris. And uh, Home Mac has a spot. Riley, Jordan, North Carolina, one in California, Sacramento, California. I'll uh, email all that over to you. I got it. I was shocked. I've been finished. Lifetime devoting my life to people and helping them out. And so when I went to Vanessa's mother, uh, at oh, where she was to view her body at uh, Mac Paul's mother, they told me, said, Go and be with Vanessa. She needs you because they know me. And I'm going to want to tell me this, you know. So I went on anyhow, and I see now why that they want me to go over now because a lot of stuff wasn't covered. How much nothing much to have? I got a video and everything, but I, I didn't know to bring that stuff. I did take a few pictures, and when I uh, this is for a very benefit. I, sometimes I get a little angry, <coughs> and I have to ask the Lord to help me because uh, when somebody is, is doing me wrong and I know I'm right, I'm making my payment. So I even made a payment this time, but I'm doing it. But uh, 
uh, and uh, the, the one thing that the preacher said, pastor said, after church, he said, Vanessa, Mrs. Vanessa, hope somebody, I was shocked, stop some kind of insurance company and put the people back in their home. Because she ain't doing something. How long have you been in your home, Mr. Morris? I bought that home in 1978, and like a dummy, I paid cash. I got the cashier check now, but what happened is they keep coming up to, oh, we can give you deal sure. there, give you deal there, and like a fool, uh, borrow money on well, it. Can I ask you something else? How many homes have been uh, shut down from for or vacant because of foreclosure on your block alone? Seven of them. Seven, Seven of them. them. And uh, there's one next to me, uh, 9600. They're gonna tear that down because I want to been over there. I saw him digging up. He said, no, we go. Uh, he said, we got three cameras down. The water problem goes come over there in the city because we'll tear the house down. And the house crossed for me, Jason, 9300. Uh, and I was going around trying to see if anybody got $1,500. You could buy a house for $1,500. That's right. Now, my house, uh, I, I kept my house in pretty good shape, but it, it's leaking now. And I can't put no money in it because I know where I'm going to be in there. You know? And how much you been paying in escrow every month since this has been going on? $47,487. Mm. Mm. Ever miss a payment? No. See, this is what's so ridiculous mm. about this. He's paid more since his case has begun than the house is worth. And That's the bank, right. out of vindictiveness, would rather throw this man. This isn't just, truthfully, it isn't just, for, it's just the, the mentality of these banks. They'd rather toss someone out in the street because they can do it than let him have the house after he's paid more than that house is worth. I mean, I would propose a couple things. I would propose that why don't we have a rally Thursday afternoon at the house and bring and invite the press and see if we can get the press to come out and let them see again firsthand and then we can tell them about the court hearing the next day. So I would propose that we have a rally, if that's okay with Mr. Morris, like maybe a Thursday around, oh, I don't know, say, what's a good time, say 5 o'clock even. Let's do a rally Thursday at 5 o'clock at Mr. Morris's. And what's your address, Mr. Morris? I'm talking. There's about seven or eight I was shot. I go around the block. Yes, they put you out of their home. And 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 the doors is empty. They just want to get you out of there. They want right. to get you out of the house. Right. Yeah, they I know. They can't this house now. I right? know, and they're wide open. Wide open. Well, again, I would propose that if the people are for it, that we do a rally on Thursday at 5 o'clock at Mr. Morris's and we invite the press to let them come and see what's going on and explain that they're ready to toss this man who's been in this house for the last, is that now, 32 years. Him and his wife, 78, that's 32 years. Uh, rather toss him out of his house when he's already paid just an escrow more than the house is worth. And I think we should have a rally at fr 5 o'clock Friday, be at the courtroom Thursday, 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 pack that courtroom Friday, and people need to come early on Friday. The dates of July, July 22nd for the rally. The court is uh, 9 o'clock in front of Kathleen McDonald. What floor is she on? 11th floor. 11th floor. And people should be aware, you got to come early on, uh, uh, on Fridays. It's real busy. It's a motion day, so it's going to be busy. So to get into the court, you got to be there early. So be, you need to be there by 8.30. And you can't bring a cell phone in. Uh, and so be there at 8.30, pack the court Friday. And, then, and, and as Vanessa and everyone said, we'll do a national email blitz and try to get people. We met a lot of people at the social forum that were really interested in the moratorium. And we'll do a blitz from all over the country. And how we know some people in North Carolina. Maybe we can talk to them about setting up a little demonstration in North Carolina. And that would really take them. And I think we should start this campaign. And the other thing I think we've got to think about, when if, if, if you know, we, we, none of us have too many illusions about Judge McDonald that she's going to do something. Though you never know. She may feel the heat. But if she doesn't, that we got to be ready. That, they, you know, that if they try to uh, get, uh, do an eviction on that day, we're going to have to be on alert. Usually what happens is when there's an eviction done, they bring a dumpster. The dumpster's there first thing in the morning.